And as a quick sort of recap, the execution flow that we talked about, again, that's the APT file, it use, is used to compose a score that's similar to a SQL query optimization plan. At runtime, the data stage uh, identifies the degree of parallelism, which we also talked about, and node assignments for each operator inserts sorts and partitioners as needed to ensure correct results. It also defines the connection topology, so the data sets and links between the adjacent operators and stages. It inserts buffer operators, we haven't talked about that, to prevent deadlocks. It also defines the number of actual OS processes multiple operators and stages are combined within a single OS process as appropriate to improve performance and optimize resource requirements. The job score is used to fork processes with communication interconnects for data, message, and control. Processing begins after the job score and the processes are created. Job processing ends when either the last row of data is processed by the final operator, a fatal error is encountered by any operator, <laughs> run into all those scenarios, or the job is halted by data stage job control or human intervention such as data stage director, remember which lets you control what's going on if you stop a job. You can direct the score to a job log by doing this, that's fine. Job scores are divided into two sections. You have data sets, so we're going to talk a little bit about those. We actually mentioned them earlier. Partitioning and collecting, and operators, node operator mapping. Uh, we haven't talked about those things, that's fine. Both sections identify sequential or parallel processing, which we did talk about. The execution, or orchestra, remember we talked about that, that's the engine manages control and message flow across processes and consists of the conductor node and one or more processing nodes as shown in figure 1 6 which we're going to look at. Actual data flow from one player to another uh, flows from one player to another, the conductor and the section leader. This is what I meant earlier by the terminology using uh, terms from orchestras are only used to control process execution through control and message channels. So a conductor is the initial framework process. It creates the section leader, the SL process, which is, there's one per node. It consolidates messages to the data stage log, which we, again, we saw that earlier in the director, and manages orderly shutdown. The conductor node has the startup process. The conductor also communicates with the players. And then the section leader is a process that forks player processes, one per stage, and manages up and down communications. SLs communicate between the conductor and the player processes only. For a given parallel configuration file, one section leader will be started for each logical node. Players are the actual processes associated with the stages. It sends standard error and standard out to the SL, establishes connections to the other players for data flow, and cleans up on completion. Each player has to be able to communicate with every other player. And you will, when you see problems with your jobs, occasionally you will see player zero or player one failed, or there was a fatal error. So these players are important. There are separate communication channels or pathways for control, errors, messages, and data. The data channel does not go through the section leader slash conductor as this would limit scalability. Data flows directly from upstream, which is input operator, to the downstream or the output operator. So I know there's a lot of technical detail, but here's a nice uh, sort of diagram of this all uh, being put together. Th these play er players are really important. You can see that this is all really part of the parallel execution flow. And remember, we talked earlier about nodes. If you look here, you can in fact see how this is, you can see parallel being mentioned here, which execution mode is involved, the nodes that are involved, and this is sort of a nice way to kind of uh, recap a lot of the things we've, we've talked about.